track day equipment. We thought we'd put a little video together for you so it's easy to find the stuff you need to take your first track day. Stands, front and rear, and warmers. I take them everywhere I go because otherwise you're warming up your tyres on those first couple of laps at each session. Apart from being a little bit more dangerous in those couple of laps, it's wasting your precious track time. You know, that all adds up all the laps you get to do in a day. Second is tyre gauge. You've got to check pressures. We, we check them cold, hot off the warmers and often again when we come in just to make sure they're running at the right, t uh, right pressure. Pump, you only need, you don't need a big compressor, you only need a little uh, bicycle pump, you know, $20 from the local, local shop. So you're not actually inflating your tyre, you're just adjusting, you know, a few PSI or a bar. Fuel can, you obviously need about 20 litres minimum to get through a, a day of five to seven sessions. We take some gloves with us because if you're adjusting the chain or taking calipers off, you get filthy hands. And uh, if you do get filthy hands, that's why we bring some soap with us. Electricity, like a reel, to get your tyre warmers powered up on your bike and maybe the plug is a long way away. But when you get to that plug, often in good garages they run the big blue plugs and then you can't plug your normal household uh, reel in. So we take an adapter everywhere we go in case you're so happy when you get there and you need it. When you come to take your rear wheel out to put a new tyre on or adjust the chain, make sure you've got the right size socket to go on your rear axle. Often the kits don't come with a big enough socket to get that wheel off. Uh, we leave that socket on a torque wrench so it's so easy to click and it's set at the right, right pressure. Take a roll of duct tape with us in case something needs patching up a little bit. It could be leathers or your bike fairing, anything, you know, even the transponder to hold it on well so you don't lose an expensive timing transponder that the organiser gives you. Could be 300 to replace it and you don't want to lose it. Bit of tape on, make sure. Uh, we take paper towels with us because of cleaning brakes or wiping up a little bit of oil you've spilled or whatever it is. Uh, we take cleaning product, you know, just to get bugs and things off screens and make the bike look a bit nicer. Uh, brake clean product, could be a patch of oil on your floor, someone spilt, you don't want to run your tyres through it, or all the way up to cleaning the brakes themself, uh, themselves. Uh, chain lube, you know, that's an obvious one, but we take that everyone, everywhere we go. And uh, the same oil, engine oil, that you run in your bike, we take a, at least a litre of that for top-ups during the day in case it needs it. The tool kit, it's pretty hard work when you go out to buy yourself one for a track day and we've found the easiest way to transport it and to know you've got everything there. Also the cheapest way is these little briefcases, pre-made, they're, they're around a hundred of whatever the currency is in your country, but it's, they're really good value, like pretty much everything there, it's so easy to put in your boot. Um, we take, obviously take water with you because it's a long day and uh, often you'll think you have other priorities running around getting tyre changed or seeing the times. It's easy to get dehydrated and the brain doesn't work so well. So we take you know, a few bottles of water make sure you and your friend have got plenty. So because it's a long day, I was saying, take a comfy chair, you know, even if it's a stool or a camping type chair um, to have a little relax between sessions and uh, throw a little snack in, you know, I know that's, uh, but it's worth thinking about when you're packing your, packing your equipment up. We take uh, a mat with us everywhere, like a garage mat, because it kind of marks your territory in the garage, you know, and apart from, you know, when you're out on track, people know that's your spot, but also it looks cool.